Hello and welcome, my name is Alex, playing as Why You Know Shine. Today I want to share with you some tips about Tom Cleanses The Division. Since the game is still relatively new, this is for people just starting out or leveling a new character. There's a number of tips, but the first one I want to tell you is while you do your storyline missions, you need to finish all the encounters. There are three types of encounters. There's the medical one, the tech one, and the defense one. All three of those are used to level up your base of operations and, you know, get nice bonuses, new talents, all the good stuff. So, what you need to do as you do one mission in that circle around it, you need to finish all the encounters. Move up to the next one, finish all the encounters, because uh, that will save you the time later on if you don't do it you'll have to just go back through it and grind it but if you do it from the start you'll get the nice bonus XP that you need uh, to level up obviously to the highest level which is level 30 yep. since ending the storyline missions would only get you to level 24 to 25 and I recommend starting with the defense missions so get the that get that one first since it gives you a nice 10 XP passive bonus on everything you do in the future which is really good yeah but when you get well, you need to level them up to 100% because uh, it gives you a bonus on your talents like you select one of the talents but gives you added bonus which is always there you'll figure it out when you get to 100% trust me so the second tip I had in mind for you is the dog zone tip there is absolutely no need for you to enter Dark Zone before level cap. Since the gear that you might get and all that stuff is going to be worthless when you reach level 30. Because, you know, it's just simply going to be lower level and weaker. My advice is that you don't shoot up straight to level 30 and go Dark Zone. But reach your level 29 and then go. Because Dark Zone scales up. So say if you're level 30 and you go into Dark Zone, every, everything is going to be level 30. All the mobs, they go up to the level 31 and 32, but that's not so important. The players that are going to be there with you are going to be level 30 as well. And chances are, 99% of them will have a better gear than you, since you're just fresh out of leveling. So if they wanted to, say, shoot you, they could and farm you like a mob because you just you know uh, easy prey for them so you go into dark zone at level 29 and what you do is you are most of the time highest level there since the level cap at when you level 29 of the dark zone is somewhere between level 25 26 to 29 so only people between those levels can join you so no one can really farm you at all if uh, they can farm you uh, you have a fighting chance but when you're level 30 and someone comes full gold gear at you they're just gonna one shot you you're not gonna <coughs> matter to them anyways you go in level 29 you grind the boss you well <laughs> grind is a very boring word but what you need to do is, this will take you approximately about two to three of days of casual gameplay. So, you need to kill bosses or in the Dark Zone and mobs in order to get Dark Zone currency. You'll need to grind about 35 to 45,000. And you'll need level 50 at the Dark Zone, which you will just get as you get to 45,000 Dark Zone points. You use those points to buy high-end pieces of gear so that will get you from three to four high-end pieces of gear. That's the gold stuff. That's that's the good stuff. Um, when you finish up your 40,000 say Dark Zone currency points uh, and your level 50 points you go and f ding your level 30 so you, you just finished leveling up 
and you go back into the dark zone. Uh, there is five dark zone vendors at the dark zone safe houses. You go into each one of them and you explore what they have. You buy best three or four pieces of gear, the blueprints for them, and you go craft them back in the base. When so basically at level 30 you're starting out with three to four high-end pieces of gear which is amazing you're gonna have the edge over anyone that just think level 30 basically and you can use those high-end pieces of gear for the end game which they are the end game items as well now as you're grinding those Point, dogs and points there. You also get Phoenix credits for killing bosses and stuff. You can also purchase 30 Phoenix credits from the Uplay store with Uplay currency. It's something that you just get. Uh, it, it's an added bonus. So when you reach, I don't know, it's about 160 Phoenix credits, you go into your tech wing in your base operations and you buy a Vector 45 that's just it. It's a current meta and Vector 45 currently is a god gun. You buy Vector 45 blueprint and you go make it. So in order to make all these blueprints you basically level 30 you just ended it. You have five levels five pieces of iron gear and no one can mess with you. Literally no one. Uh, to craft them, you'll need weapon parts, tools, everything uh, that you will get was leveling up simply. And you don't sell the weapons or anything, pieces of gear that you get to the vendors. You just deconstruct them for weapon parts, for tool parts. You'll use uh, five green tool parts, for example, to make one blue... Uh, blue tool part. You'll use five blue uh, tool parts, blue ones to make one gold blue part. And for crafting a gun, say, you'll need five weapon parts and three tool parts. So yeah, that's why you need it for high-end gear. So just keep that in mind and uh, keep it during the leveling. Don't sell your stuff. It's really not worth it you're not gonna gain anything the goal is the high-end gear that's my point anyways those be would be the tips i wanted to share with you uh that's it for today ladies and gentlemen i hope you have a great division experience thanks for watching bye